hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we'll discuss how we can configure product properties in dynamics 365 cells product properties are those parameters for a product that defines the products features okay so let us create a product first and we'll create some properties so go to the dynamics 365 cells and here navigate to the application settings and the app setting will find product catalog group in the product catalog group you can find the product details click on the families and products here you can add a product let me add a product i want to add a product called as let's say laptop i and laptops okay you can you can uh, give uh, uh, such as let's say gaming laptops okay so i want to give a name as gaming laptops and here I want to uh, give a product code. While creating a product, you have to provide the name and product. Parent valid validity and description is optional, but if you want to define a hierarchy of uh, product or product family, you can define a parent product. Next, you have to provide a unit group. Let's say I want to provide a unit group called as laptop. I have already created this unit group before and default unit group i want to the default unit i want to select as each and decimal supported i will give two now i can save it once i've saved it will ask you to define a price list you have already defined some price list i want to define a price list let's say this is the defined default price list i want to select it if you don't know about price list and unit groups all that watch my other videos i have explained once the product is created, I can go to the product properties tab and here I want to assign some properties for this gaming laptop. I want to have three properties. The first property click on new property and add college color. Okay. So this color property I want can be read only. If it is read only, what will happen? The value of this property cannot be overridden by users that means when the customer will purchase this product by default this color whatever value will be given that will be only sold if you use no read only no that means this customer can choose which color he wants to buy the required means if the required property is no that means the property value is optional right the customer cannot choose or may not choose or may, may choose so it is a uh, optional or required if you mark it as required then the uh, property must be selected before selling this uh, selling this product with this price right so let me select yes it is required hidden the hidden property of hidden uh, hidden option for properties product properties tells that if you mark it as hidden yes the property value will be hidden not allowed to edit or not allowed to select in the um, opportunity if you click on no then the property will be visible to the user for selection now click on save but when you save it will ask you to define a data type of this property color i want to choose as option set so select an option set because I want to display multiple colors uh, in a drop down. I save it and scroll down to add some property option set items. I want to add three colors. So click on new property option set and add color. Let's say first is black 1007 close and add one more, add two more. Black is done, blue color of the laptop. Define the value. So black is done, blue is done. Now I want to add uh, a red, for example. So add new and add red. So property color has three values. One is red, blue, and black. So while purchasing this product, the customer can ask to the seller that which color he wants to buy so that the user or the seller can select this option by default you have to choose which value you can black so that if the uh, uh, 
property is optional then by default this value will be taken consideration okay now save and close now i have created a color property for this product gaming product or gaming laptop add a new property i have to add a new property called as ram size okay ram size i want to define read only no because i want to allow users to select it required yes it is required because without ram size laptops cannot be sold do you want to hidden it hidden it no i don't want to hide it go to the property and here i want to define this time a whole number because i want users or sellers can define the ram size before selling the laptop so i want to define minimum 2 and maximum 32 or 64 and default value will be 2 that means when the product will be sold default will be 2 but as per the customer we can change the value of this property called as uh, ram size depending on the customer need so save and close i want to add another property called as operating system os and in this os value i want to define data type as single line of text and define here the value windows 11 and go to here and define read only yes it is read only because no one can change it required yes or no doesn't matter because it is read only so you can mark it as no or yes depending on your requirement hidden i don't want to hide it so click on no seven goals now for this gaming laptop i have defined two properties color and ram size which can be selective selectable while selling the product and os cannot be edited right so i can publish this now so before publish you have to have a price list for this product so go and create a price list click on this product scroll down or you can navigate to the additional details and here i can add the new price list item so choose the price list let's say lenovo india and this is the product i can go here to define the price list item price amount i'll say it is thirty thousand and seven close once it is done i can publish this product okay click on publish now we have successfully uh, published this product whose name is gaming laptop with three properties now let us go to the opportunity and create an opportunity and see how we can use this in the opportunity let me create a new opportunity for a customer let's say gaming laptop requirement for that is okay and here i can define the customer and click on save and close now this opportunity is created for me now i can open this opportunity and i can navigate to the products so that i can add products to this opportunity so price list i can choose lenovo india price list and choose system calculated and save it now click on add products when you click on add product you will see your product is displaying in the grid click on this add i want to add one quantity so click on add now click save or save to opportunity once you save to the opportunity you will see in the properties column you will find a edit option so click on this and click on edit when you click on edit go to the product properties and it will display this items you see opportunity you know, the operating system now you cannot change it because by default you are selling this laptop with windows 11 installed color you can choose let's say i want to choose the customer interested for blue color then select blue ram size the customer wants 32 bit then select this and click on save so while selling this product I am I, as a seller I can successfully edit the properties of the product and save this opportunity product okay and I can now proceed further closing the opportunity creating a quotation and etc right 
so this is how you can set up correctly the uh, properties of any product that you interested for right so thank you for everyone watching this video i hope you understand if you have any question you can ask in the comment see you again bye